Uh oh. We got in trouble. <laughs> are we are we kicked out? Not yet. Not yet. We'll oh, us, it's coming. Give us time, yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to Serve Need, everybody. I'm here with Anthony and I am uh Scarlett Johansson. We're going <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna be trying some tequila today on Taco Tuesday, Tequila Tuesday, Thursday. You know every day's tequila day, but it, if it starts with tea, that's the best. Casa Amigos, House of the Homies. That not that's not real Spanish, but <laughs> so we have the Blanco. They do have different ones. They have um, res oh, what does it? Resposado, Resposado, Añajo, uh, and the Blanco. I think so. It's three different ones. We have the Blanco here today. Um, so we're gonna be trying that, and then um, also uh, later on we're gonna be delighted with some food again by Cato Works here at the clubhouse uh, so thank you very much big shout, shout out to them clubhouse at Jones Creek that's right um, so let's try we're gonna try this first and then we're gonna make a quick margarita while we have um, enjoying some tacos on that okay so so try it straight first you know serve it neat serve it neat so even we do we do it even with the cube 40% alcohol on that okay Oh, it smells great. It does smell really good. And somebody somebody got me on to this. Uh, David, thank you very much, by the way. David Dobrik? Ha, Foss. Uh, David, David Foss. David Haas. So you definitely <laughs> smell the... <laughs> uh, David Hasselhoff. <laughs> You smell the um, agave, the sweet kind of yeah, smell that's, to it. Yeah, that's immediately what I got when I was poured out of the bottle. And it smells, it doesn't really smell like a tequila, it smells like agave nectar. Yes, that's exactly what it smells like. It smells straight like the plant. Uh, I, I've never experienced one of those plants, but I'm sure this is what it smells <laughs> like. <laughs> so, anyways, cheers, let's try it. Here you go. Chug it. Anyway. <laughs> Is that what that means? Mm -hmm. I just always thought it was like pomp and circumstance. Very smooth, sweet flavor. It's very, very sweet. sweet. Now, supposedly, if it's 100% agave, you get a if, lot of vanilla. You drink. Yes. Sorry, I was. You know, you I do. Was, I was processing my palate. Uh, a lot of vanilla and a little bit of charcoal. It almost sounds like some. There's something dark in there. Um, I would. I would say. Probably from the roasting of the agave. That's, that's what it is. What That's what it is. Mm. Now, you know, we just did the first episode was uh, with the Rocks tequila and it was a sipping tequila. I would probably consider this a sipping tequila also. Yeah. Um, you don't really need anything else with this. You can just drink it neat, straight, however you want to. Uh, get the real flavors in there. Um, but of course, you know, later on, we're gonna be making a margarita, a quick margarita for everybody. Jalisco, Mexico, Mexico. Exclusive. I love Spanish. It's so it, much fun. It doesn't have. <laughs> sorry. It doesn't have. <laughs> while I'm coughing, it doesn't have that much of a bite to it, and I don't know if you can oh. see it over here. The back of the bottle literally says "notes of a smooth vanilla finish." That's like literally the that's, first thing I tasted. Yes. That's funny. I, I swear Good. to God, I did not read this before we tasted it. I'm, I'm, I'm reading it. Just you're watching me read it. And yeah, what it says, notes, vanilla finish. And we nailed that. You would think we cheated. Again, very sweet. Um, what else can you say about this? The vanilla notes you, you talked about. A little bit of roasting. Again, bit of th roasting. those are the two things that come forward to me is the vanilla right off the bat. Uh, and then and the roasting coming like at the not the, I don't want to say aftertaste. In the that back of your, the back of your yeah, tongue. It comes later. Now, I got to tell you something. Probably the best smelling tequila uh, I have yet to taste, smell, whatever you want to call it. I like this. It's, it's fantastic. This is one of my, like, favorite tequilas I think I've ever tried. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for real. Good job. So, thanks, David. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Right. Wait, oh, there's three. Jesus. You can count. <laughs> <laughs> Debbie. 
Here, here's our assistant, <laughs> Debbie. Debbie. <laughs> Debbie. Who is the best and worst thing to ever happen to us. <laughs> I brought you weapons of destruction. So. What are these tacos? Um, that's beef, that's fish, and that's chicken. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> there you welcome. have it. All right, so we're about to eat these tacos. We're gonna make a quick margarita. I don't know, I think it's called an elderflower margarita. I'm gonna use the tequila, Casa Amigos. We're gonna take the tequila. We're gonna take your mama. Or tequila. And again, it's really weird pouring while you're sitting down. Okay, so. That does look super awkward. Your elbows are like up to your chin. Yeah, yeah. And okay, so we got the tequila. Again, we're gonna use Grand Marnier because um, it's honestly, it's my number one. It's so good. It's called triple, triple set liqueur. Uh, we're gonna use some elderflower. All right, Saint Germain. What's Saint Germain? It is Which another is that? Li liqueur. It's um. Is he related to Saint Nick? It, he might be. It's twenty percent alcohol. It's another liqueur. It just gives it like a, a little different Where's flavor. Where's that from? You asked me questions I didn't look up. I'm gonna put about an ounce, half ounce, ounce. Whatever in here. So we got that in there to give margarita just a little bit of flavor. And then we're gonna use some Stearings margarita mix. Um, your lime juice if you're making a regular, but it's just all already inclusive, so you don't need to add any um, sugars or anything like that. Um, and this should match well, at least with one of these tacos that we're about to try. Okay. I mean, we've got three different proteins, so. If it doesn't match with one, I, I, we're probably just doing something wrong. It's got to be on us on that probably, part, right? Yeah. Probably. All right. So, a little twist on a margarita, right? What was the twist? A, a different take on the regular margarita. What's the different take? Well, regular margarita. Tell us about it, man. Regular margarita is going like to be. Pretend like you're on a TV show. Um, your tequila, you're going to have some lime juice and um, orange flavored liqueur, like, well, triple set. Triple set, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And and then what makes this one different? Because I just saw you do that exact same thing. Because we used elderflower, we added that. Oh. Not elder, I'm sorry, St. Germain. But it is an elderflower liqueur. It says it on the bottom. Yeah. Elderflower liqueur. So it's gonna give you some notes of some flower, um, earthiness a little bit to it, okay? So let's try this margarita. Cheers. Down in one. Oh, it tastes fantastic. What do you think? I love it. Um, oh, I get, I get, I, first of all, it's vanilla Ford. You get that, like, whatever you did brings out the vanilla. Um, it was already vanilla Ford, but it's, right. it's still at the forefront. And then you get a little bit of that orange. Or is it orange or is it elderflower? Well, or is it both? It's it, I, think both. It's, I think it's both. Uh, you get a little bit of the orange flavor from, uh, the Grand Marnier, of course, and then the, the Saint Germain with the elderflower and, and the vanilla. It has a nice, smooth, it's almost It's very like, smooth. It's not a creamsicle flavor. <laughs> it's pretty close. It's like, it's like what a- What is there? Yeah, imagine a creamsicle, but if it was a lime creamsicle. Yes, <laughs> but it tastes good. Cause I don't think a lime creamsicle would taste good. I think it would taste amazing. It's like it's it's basically a key lime pie on a stick. That's what it is. So let's try these tacos because they've been they've been waiting on us, and I'm very super excited. We're going to try which one should we try first? We I, have. I want to go fish. fish first. This looks like a blackened mahi mahi. You think so? I, I would I would guess, but so it has some coleslaw not. on it, some kind of um, some sauce and jalapenos, uh, red onions. Should we? Should we? Sweeter than I thought it'd be. Mhm. Mm Got a little bit of spiciness to it. What kind of fish do you think it is? Cod? White fish. Cod? Mm -hmm. No? Mm -hmm. I like the slaw. It's not cod. Slaw's so good. A little spiciness to it. I like it. Mm -hmm. It really is super good though. 
All right, now we're gonna go to our second one, which is, I believe, chicken. We're gonna do chicken one next. Um, jalapenos, lettuce, salsa, tomatoes. Anyways, let's try it. Hopefully it goes fantastic with that. Yeah. Are we doing another, uh... <laughs> do I need a link? Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> I think that chicken is some of the best damn chicken I've ever tasted in my life. Yeah? Yeah, man, it's really good. That's a good salsa. Third taco. Jalapeno salsa, onions, tomato, lettuce, beef. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Best one yet. <laughs> this is good. This is my favorite one. And there you have it. Three fantastic tacos. We got some fantastic tequila, something different. Um, just a, again, just a smelling notes on that one was absolutely amazing. Makes a great margarita too. Makes a fantastic margarita. Found out that St. Germain comes from Coral the, Gables. Coral Gables, the town that Chase was born in. It's where I'm from, baby. I did this on purpose. I did my research. I looked it up. That's not true. <laughs> no, that's true. No, it's, it's, it's not. That's not true. But anyways, um, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon. Make sure you watch all our videos. And again, we got a lot of things coming up. Like, comment, subscribe as we drink our margaritas. <laughs> And don't forget to come to um, Cater Works here at Jones Creek Clubhouse. Check them out. They have a fantastic menu. Um, they have an open bar so you can get any kind of margarita or really any kind of drink that you like. They can make that for you. Um, but that's really it for this episode. Signing off from Jones Creek Clubhouse. And as always, serve it neat. Hello? Hi. My office has been trying to reach you concerning your vehicle's extended warranty. You should have received a notice in the mail regarding this information. Since we've not gotten a response, we're giving you a courtesy call before we close out your file.